There is something unmistakable about the smiles you see on National Signing Day. Getting that scholarship means a high school athlete's dedication has paid off. Parents couldn't be more overjoyed. But unless your child is uncommonly gifted, getting to that moment is tough. So in our latest game plan segment, we're doing what we can to help parents make that signing day dream a reality. It's very difficult. Two more! Her work ethic has really come out. You can see the growth. With every grunt and ground stroke, 16-year-old Hadley Doyle lays groundwork to reach her goal. Going to a college, getting a full ride scholarship somewhere, and that, that's just my overall goal and dream out of all of this. She plays in Dallas. The Doyles have gone all in to give her the best shot. Her dad Danny right. jokes they may end up spending as much as a scholarship is worth. A year ago, she enrolled full-time in the Lakes Tennis Academy. It meant homeschooling, not to mention a four-hour commute. Four hours per day in the car. In the car. Which is great. She and I had a lot of time to talk. <laughs> yes, I love it. Adley, a sophomore, drives herself yeah. now. You got to hit spinnier with the wind. And is she ever driven? A typical weekday starts pre-dawn, lasts about 10 hours, with up to five of those spent on the court. Downtime, minimal. Most weekends, reserved for tournaments. Two or three tournaments a month. All day Saturday, all day Sunday, and a lot of times all day Monday. It's quite tiring. They gotta be willing to run through a brick wall and you gotta have a parent that's gonna let them. Oh! Adley's story, just one of so many. The National Governing Body for High School Sports says there are some eight million students playing high school sports each year. Only about 2% of them will earn an athletic scholarship. So which sports give you an edge in reaching signing day success? For boys, gymnasts have the best odds. One scholarship to every 20 athletes. Fencers not far behind. One in 43 the ratio for football players and one in 51 golfers. For girls, niche sports dominate. Rowing, equestrian and rugby offer great chances. And among sports with greater participation rates, golf and gymnastics have the best odds at 24 to 1. If your child doesn't happen to be that blue chip or five-star athlete, it can be tough navigating the maze that leads to landing a college scholarship. But there are steps parents can take to try and help beat the odds. So tell me what sport John plays. Catherine Mars has spent the last decade and a half advising students on college admissions. The first thing parents should do, she says, create a game plan. They need to do some due diligence. Here are some tips. First, make an honest assessment of your child's ability to see what type of schools and scholarships make sense. Hit the books. It can't be stressed enough. All other things considered being equal, better grades break the tie. The strategic plan they need to work on is their academics. Don't wait. Be proactive in terms of reaching out to several coaches. It's got uh, their ranking. Adley has emailed dozens of coaches. Her parents use this recruiting website to track her progress and see which coaches have visited Hadley's page. It's a great resource that you know we use, you know, probably daily. A final tip: seek out influencers. These could be private coaches or others to help in development and relationship building. But this strategy comes with fair warning. The parents need to maybe check with some schools and have you ever heard of Mr. So and So? or Jane Doe. A trip to the NCAA's website is time well spent too. It's a daunting task, but some 160,000 kids each year experience those unforgettable signing day smiles, especially if they're willing to put in the work. I dream about that day like all the time, just like my signing day, getting my offer, verbally committing and then signing. I'm so pumped about it. Hopefully some of these suggestions can help you get pumped on signing day two. Joe Trahan, Channel 8 Sports.